Hello everybody, this is Richard. Today's topic is so terrifying that you will cringe with terror and disgust. We're talking about pornography and how it affects the gay community and the effect that it can have on a relationship. Um, I've got several thoughts about, you know, how this particular thing that is relatively prevalent in the gay community um, may or may not affect in a positive or a negative way. Um, I do believe that there are uh, relationships that pornography could, I suppose, play a role in as long as, you know, the two were using it together. Or, you know, if you're in a relationship where uh, neither one of you really care if the other one watches it and you've talked about it and you both are aware of it and that you're not using it as a crutch uh, in your relationship, then there's probably nothing wrong with that. I know of relationships that have broken up because pornography was something that, you know, uh, one or the other in the relationship got too involved in and just let it take over their life. So uh, it can be either positive or negative depending on what you let it do to you, I suppose. Uh, that's all individual, an individual thing, you know, with, with those who may be viewing pornography or may not be viewing pornography. It is a very prevalent thing in the gay community. One thing that I am not particularly pleased with when it comes to porno is that at our gay events, for instance, every year at the San Francisco Pride Celebration, we have the parade, uh, we have uh, uh, dances and, 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 and celebrations down at Civic Center in San Francisco, and uh, but and then they have booths set up, you know, where people can buy things to eat and buy things to drink and and knickknacks and trinkets and this, that, and the other, you know, that they have for sale. And uh, there's always, always a booth there from at least two or three uh, pornographic film companies, gay filmographic, uh, pornographic film companies that are there selling their porno and uh, they also have porn stars you know out in front doing their thing and and it's I don't know if that's such a good thing and the reason I say that is because you know if you go to the uh, St. Patrick's Day Parade they don't have a porno booth there if you go to the Chinese New Year Parade they don't have a porno booth there um, so we as the lesbian gay community, why do we think it's okay to have a porno booth at, you know, those things that we celebrate, especially if we're going to be public about it? Um, uh, my thought is eh, maybe it's not such a good thing that we do it that way. Um, uh, we do have events like the Folsom Street Fair which is, you know, kind of sexual in nature anyway when it comes to, you know, the leather community and this, that, and the other. Probably not that bad of a thing to, to do it there because it kind of plays into what else is going on. But 
as far as the parade and the gay pride celebration each year, I think my own op personal opinion is that, you know, maybe it shouldn't actually be there. It's not a necessity. So, um, do I think porno is okay for some? Yes, I do. Do I think it's probably a hindrance to others? Yes, I do. But I think that's also true in society as a whole. So, um, you know, it depends on how we use it, what we do with it. Uh, nonetheless, um, that's my views on it. And I don't really want to, like, go into anything else because, you know, it's kind of a, a private thing with most people. But, you know, I will say that, you know, I do have some pornography here at home and I do watch it on occasion. And uh, so it's not a big thing, you know, to me and in the relationship that I have with my other half, uh, he doesn't think it's a big thing. So it's like, you know, he likes looking at eye candy. I like looking at eye candy. But it's just, you know, something to look at. And, you know, sometimes it's not much more than things that you can see, you know, any other place. But um, other than the naughty videos. So, um, is it okay? Yeah, I guess it's alright. But, you know, individually you have to make up your own mind. Whether it's okay for you or it's not okay for you. And um, that's okay. One way or the other. So that's my view, and I don't have too much else to say about that. Uh, make sure that you watch all of the other guys uh, this week. Uh, let them tell you what they feel on the subject. And um, then subscribe to us if you're not subscribed. And also uh, go to everyone's personal channel and subscribe to them, and they would appreciate it very much. And uh, I will see you again next Tuesday here on the Fab Five Collab. Bye.